Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. We have a mission this week. I gotta get all these readings up by Friday. So on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I can chill, I can relax, I can bathe in sage and pink Himalayan salt, I can drink chai tea and red wine and just decompress for three days and get ready for fall. It's good to have goals. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and stop babbling. As you all know, those of you who have been hanging around for a while, at least the last couple of months, I'm not making decisions this month and I'm not going in any kind of particular order. These cards have been shuffled. I have no idea what order they're in. So Virgo went first because it's their season. Leo will go last because they went first last rotation. I just try to keep things fair around here. As for the 10 in between, no clue. No idea. So it's going to be just as big of a surprise for me as it is for you. Who's up first? Aries. Okay. Well. I just got done straightening this deck, so this is a little bit weird. All right. <sighs> this reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 2020. Four swords popped out. Let's see if it comes back out. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Just please keep in mind does not resonate. You can check your placement signs, so your moon, your rising, your Venus. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Time and energy are both fluid. So, yeah, I'm saying this is for September. Some of the events may have played out already. Some are going to play out in the future. Some might be playing out right now. All things can and maybe vice versa. So they may even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher watching for Aries, i.e. the cross watcher, the other person in the situation. So just keep these things in mind if you are trying to establish if this is indeed your reading. And as for the cross watchers, you guys know you're always welcome here because cross watching is kind of how I got my start in tarot and as much as I love telling that story this is neither the time nor the place for it that will be a story for another day Aries Sun, Moon Rising Venus September 2020 what's going on with you what's going on with them obstacle possible resolution why are you here Aries the moon. Hmm, okay. It means smoke and mirrors. It can mean lies and deception. It, it's the card of the unknown. It's a card of perception. Because things never look the same way in the moonlight as they do in the broad daylight. Know what I'm saying? It's a card on how things are perceived. Maybe you're kind of in the darkness right now. Maybe some of these events are playing out around a full moon. Hmm. They could play out the upcoming full moon. I don't know. Maybe there was an Aries moon involved. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Five of Cups. Either they bring about feelings of great sadness or just make you look back at the three spilt cups and you have a hard time seeing the two cups that were left behind. Okay. Or maybe you feel like they have a hard time seeing the full cups. Maybe they took too much time concentrating on the past. What do you think of them? Page of cups reversed. Hmm. No messages of love, given or received. No communication. Mm. 
Maybe somebody's blocked, potentially. Maybe there's just nothing to say. Or there's lots to say and nobody's saying it, taking it out of it resonates. What do you want from this person, Three of Cups? Okay, Three of Cups, it's a card of reunion. It's a card of friendship. Depending on what other cards are in the spread, it, it can indicate a third party situation. I'm not feeling that in this instance. I'm feeling this is a card of reunion, as a card of friendship. It's a card of coming together, being cordial at the very least, okay? What about the person you're dealing with? How do they feel about you? Death in the reverse. They may feel like that <laughs> the death the death card is a card of spiritual evolution, so they may feel like one of you is spiritually farther ahead than the other. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they possibly they feel like you're incapable of spiritual growth or change. Maybe they feel like the situation hasn't changed any. What do they think of you? Four of Pentacles. They could see you as miserly. holding on to things, holding on to emotions. Maybe they're holding on to emotions toward you. Maybe they feel like you're holding on to emotions toward them. If it's involving emotions, they could just think that you're a complete cheapskate. Take it however resonates, Aries. What do they want from you? Page of Wands reversed. Oh, well... I have to throw a clarifier on that. I'm hearing, as I flip this card over, I heard, I don't want no part of it. There, there's a lack of communication here on both sides. Things aren't being said. What's the obstacle? Card. This is the card of unfinished business. This is the card of a cycle that did not close out. It's a card of return. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Well, possible resolution. King of Cups. This is a card of deep emotion. This is a card of feelings. So the possible resolution here is expression of feeling, allowing yourself to be open to it. All right, let's throw some clarifiers on this. Okay. Hmm. All right. Right on. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table? For Aries, please. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, September 2020. Um, these popped out without intention. I'm going to put them back in and see if they pop back out. Four of Wands upright, Five of Pentacles upright, Knight of Pentacles reversed injustice. So we're going to pop, we're going to put them back in. I'm not going to read more into it than there is at this point. Why is the Five of Cups upright here? Okay, two popped out. Five of Cups reversed, Magician, magician reversed. Clarifying a Five of Cups in the upright. Five of Cups reversed, Magician reversed. Okay. Possibly you feel like... they're coming out of that state of sadness. Why is the magician reversed here? Hermit reversed. 
Things unable to manifest. Blocked manifestation. Someone putting their head in their sand about their... Uh, la, 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 the head in, their head in their sand. Their head in the sand about how they feel. Could be you, could be them. Ignoring the light, not wanting to see it, just closing themselves off entirely. That That's more than introspection. That's flat out not even wanting to deal with this. Page of Pentacles in the upright. Someone could be having apolog apologetic feelings. Could be you, could be them. Okay. Why is the Page of Cups reversed here? For what Aries thinks of the other person involved in this situation? Why is the Page of Cups reversed here? Oh. Well, you think they're the catch. You see them as a strong, independent person. One more. Ace of Wands reversed, but it's not going to take off. I, I sense intimidation and hesitation with this. Aries, I think you may be a little intimidated by them. Like, I don't know if I want to do anything about this or not because they're doing well. One more. Not okay, well, I'll take three. Four. Whoa. Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, the Two of Pentacles, and the Lovers. You definitely think there's a connection. Balanced connection, strong connection, divine connection. It could bring abundance. You see them as a strong, independent person, but you're you're hesitant. Why is the three of cups here for what Aries wants from the other person? Four of Pentacles reversed, six of six of Wands. You want to return. You want to be cordial. You want to be friends. You you want to you want to let go. You want to let go of those emotions. You want to let go of those hard feelings. Why is the Six of Wands here? Now taking five. Why is the six of wands here? Give me one card, please. Come on. One card. Okay. Knock the six of wands off the table, why don't you? Page of swords, you want to communicate. You want to communicate. You want to come in with the truth and you want to communicate. You want to talk. Okay. Honest conversation, all of branch of truth. Reconnect. Why is death reversed here for all the other person feels about Aries? Queen of Cups reversed. Oh my. Well, okay. Mm. One more. Four of Swords reversed. (sighs) 
lack of change. They're restless. Your energy makes them restless. They're trying to emotionally close themselves off to it. They want no part of it from what I can see here. Three of Pentacles reversed. They, they, wow. They don't want to build the foundation. They don't want to come together. It, it makes them restless. Okay, why are you restless? Why is the Four of Swords reversed here? Why is the other person restless? Ten of Swords reversed. Because they know, they know this cycle never got closed out. They don't want any part of it. They, they just want to walk away. They don't want to close this out. I don't think the sun has shined in their world in a while. They don't want it to. They're fighting it. I think they've had their head in the sand for a while about how this made them feel. And they don't they don't want a part of it. They don't want to drudge it up again. I don't I don't think they ever processed it. I think they just covered it up, walked away from it, let it go. They don't want to drudge it up again. Alright, why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for how the other person thinks of Aries? Five of Pentacles reversed. They're still holding on to... The this is them. They're still holding on to feelings. They're the ones being miserly toward you. They're, they're on lockdown. Wow. One more. Three of swords reversed. They're, they're still trying to come out of that state of heartbreak. They think you're trying to come back in out of the cold. The moon. I'm going back up to the moon. I don't think either one of you really knew why it ended. I'm, I'm getting a sense that things were misperceived. Things were misunderstood. Perception. Wow, Aries, what is going on? What is going on? I'm going to say something about Aries. I love you guys to death, by the way. You guys are amazing. But when you end something, you end it. It's over. It's done. You've moved on. It had its five minutes. You're done. It's the beautiful, amazing thing about Aries. When you walk away, you don't look back. And right now, you're looking back. Super weird. But okay. Why is the Page of Wands reversed here? Why is the Page of Wands reversed here for what the other person wants from Aries? From Aries, of Aries, for Aries, thank you. Oh, they don't want no part of it, but they want you to come back. 
I think they're just about as mixed up as you are right now. They don't want no part of it. They're good, but they want you to come back. They ain't talking. No communication. Or, if there is communication, it's few and far between. But they want you to come back. They want the return. I think they want the return just as bad as you do. One more on that, please. One more on that. One more on that. You gonna give me a card or are you gonna make me pick one? Come on. <laughs> Hangman reversed. Uh, Crosswatch, I do not mean to laugh at you. But you are in such denial right now. Oh my god. You are hung up. in reverse. Oh gosh. Oh goodness. Well, leading back up to the world reversed. Blockage, obstacle. Why is the world reversed here? Why is the, I'm not taking 20 cards. Why is the world reversed here? Eight of Pentacles reversed. Somebody couldn't put the work into the connection. Maybe they just didn't want to. They didn't want to work on it anymore. But it wasn't meant to end. Emperor reversed. Things got out of control. Aries, there's a good chance that this connection just got you all upside down. Literally, all upside down. Made you vulnerable. And if Aries is anything, they are not vulnerable. Unless they're all mixed up and hung up on something. One more on that. Death in the upright. Wow. The obstacle is allowing change. Allowing it to happen. Allowing the process to play out. So, what can be done? King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Eight of Cups reversed. Another card of return. Oh, crud. Well, well. Six of Pentacles reversed. <sighs> Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Getting all knocked down. (sighs) 
One more. One more. Before reversed. Don't jump. Admit to your emotions. Admit that things weren't fair. Admit that someone was just trying to be a little bit too independent. I don't know who. Mm. But don't jump. Don't jump into anything. Aries, it looks like you're not jumping again this month. Okay. Let's get some advice. Wow, this... Holy crap. Ten of cups reversed, nine of cups reversed. You cannot rely on someone else to fill your cups. You cannot rely on someone else for your happiness. And if you are not filling your cups with positive things, it's not happiness either. So you need to ask yourself, what have you been filling your cups with? The Hermit reversed and the Five of Pentacles reversed came back out. Somebody needs to get their head out of the sand. Try to come back in out of the cold. Because ignoring how this felt and not trying to find the light upon your path, you're forever in darkness. Some introspection may be called for here. The Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. That's humbling. Someone in this scenario may need to swallow a little bit of pride. If they want that door to open back up again. Oh, wow. Wow, that's profound. Wow. The Hierophant and the Two of Wands. This was one of those soulmate life lessons. Indeed. There is not a doubt in my mind this person was a soulmate. There is not a doubt in my mind. This is one of those life-changing connections. And it needs to be acknowledged. And in order to go forward on the path, there's things and thoughts and feelings that need to be let go of. So... Ace of Cups reversed, Seven of Wands reversed. That cup will never be full again if you don't get a handle on what's going on internally. And I'm talking to both of you. You're just going to be dealing with an empty cup. Who wants an empty cup? Okay, Aries. Whew. Wow. Holy Moses. That was rough. I, I, I wanted to get a few readings done today. I don't know if I can now. Whew. I think I might need another cup of coffee or six. I don't know. I might have to go brew another pot. I love you guys, though. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate every single one of you. I really do, from the bottom of my heart. You guys are amazing. Okay? Let me know if it resonates. Love you to bits. Be blessed. Catch you guys in a couple of weeks. Possibly for October readings. I don't know. We're going to see how the beginning of the school year plays out. Because there's still turbulence to come. I can feel it. But we'll get it figured out. And we're going to keep the content coming. Alright? Thanks for stopping by.